and oh, welcome perfect. to our channel. I'm not, I have nothing to do with this. I'm just here. Hello. I don't know the script, so I'm just making this up as I go along. There's some whiskey. Welcome back to the Whiskey Layman. Uh, as you know by now, I'm Matt, and this is Mac over here on the end. Not, not this guy. This guy over here. And this is Kyle. Uh, Kyle's in our last video as well, so if you haven't seen that, go watch it, or else. Uh, today, we are trying a kind of an interesting whiskey, I think. Mac, where did this whiskey come from? So this came from one of those whiskey subscription packages where you can get a uh, selection of three random things to try to see if you like them, but it also has a bottle. And this was the bottle I selected. And because you chose this. Well, I chose it from a list of other things that were just as aptly named. So this is a uh, barrel whiskey. Which could be describing literally any whiskey. Yeah, it's not very descript. Uh, I read the back and it's a blend of single malts from all over the United States that have been barreled together oh. and bottled and it's cask strength and it's very strange. <laughs> Is the name of the company Barrel? Is it Barrel Whiskey? It's registered. <laughs> Or is the name American Vatted Malt? What is this? I, we're gonna find out. Um, the logo up on the, the top here has a W. So is the, name, you, but... <laughs> is the name of it whiskey? But there's a B here. Maybe the company is Barrel and the product is whiskey. Yet to be seen. <laughs> As I was saying, I'm a little... Eh, there's, there's not a lot of information available uh, just from the bottle alone. <laughs> Honestly, I think what we're gonna get from this is we gotta taste it to figure out what we're drinking. I'm gonna open this. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> uh, the bottle itself is really nondescript. Like it is, it's boring. I like it. You do like it. I like the bottle. What about Why? it? Why? Like? It's nothing special. Like it's not trying to hype itself up. That's fair. Ooh, we it, have been disappointed by hype in the past. That's true. Yeah, it looks like it knows it's gonna be mediocre, and therefore <laughs> it made a, it has a mediocre like label and everything. Wow. Just, clean and well it's less what is it it's whiskey that's all it needs it's less clean now because i got sticky residue yeah you need to throw that out now the label it's got a, a wooden top nice and it's and it's corked it's with a cork. cork actually kind of difficult to get the cork got it i was hoping that was gonna spill all right <laughs> the table's cut what is <laughs> what what is this you have a little more experience i want you to tell me what this is so i originally thought just by looking at it this would probably be a bourbon but uh I don't know what it's made out of, so uh, I think you said it earlier. There's probably not enough uh, corn in it right. to actually be called legally a bourbon. Right. So it's probably it's definitely just an American whiskey, maybe, uh, like maybe a little burn, depending on. Well, actually, it's a higher proof. Yeah, it's probably got a lot of burn. <laughs> this is cask strength. Yes. Yeah, it's oh. a lot of burn. Then fifty-eight percent. A lot of maybe a lot of body, depending on how much corn is is in it. Oh my god. Oh. This kind of burns my nose. Yeah, uh, I, I, I feel like I can get, I can get a, a good whiff from much further away than normal. Yes, yeah, it's definitely a stronger smell. If you run out of gasoline, this will get your car moving. <laughs> this this is this might be a good thing to start off a party. Like if you want to play catch up, this might be the thing to get you there real quick. Oh, it doesn't smell horrible. It's just very potent. Yeah, I was gonna it say smells like a strong bourbon to me. Yeah, yeah I, I like the smell. It's just. A lot of smell. Yeah, it is. It's uh, a lot of scent. You're I right. expect this right. to punch me in the face when I drink it. Well, if it doesn't, I will. And if I don't, Kyle will. It, it's, it definitely smells like a bourbon. Like, I've had a lot of bourbons in my life, and this smells like one of them. I don't know if it was a good one or a bad one, but it smells like one of them. Yeah, makes sense. It's an American whiskey, so. Cheers. Cheers. <coughs> I'm... Kind of confused by this flavor. Genuinely surprised. That that was like a. It's still going down my throat. I don't have a lot of burn. Really? Actually, neither do I. <coughs> I. I had a lot of like spicy tingling on the tongue as like the flavor kind of built, but then not a, not a lot of burn. Burn, I guess. Uh, I generally find with bourbons it kind of stays like in the back of my throat a little bit more instead right. of like scotches that kind of uh, go down your throat and it like spreads. Hmm. Um, 
Am I just bad at drinking this? Maybe. My second Bigger sip is burned a little bit more, so I don't know. Okay. Would you like some? We have a dog crossing in front of the camera, but you can't see that. <sighs> it's not bad. It's better than I thought it would be. I have like a, a building burning sensation almost. Like yeah. there was no burn after the first sip, and then the second sip, it kept growing and growing. Like a spicy wings over time kind of thing. Oh, okay. I mean, it doesn't taste like spicy wings, but it, it has like a building flavor for me. I feel like there's a lot of corn in this. That could be true. Uh, it, what, it, does, it, what does that mean to you, I guess? What does a lot of corn do? Uh, generally, especially with like bourbons, you get a lot more body uh, with it. Uh, not so much like lasting flavors or anything like okay. that, but you know, you get that almost like uh, syrupy kind of. Okay. Mm. Okay. I don't love it, but yeah, it, like I would not say no if somebody if somebody handed me a glass of this. Definitely be better with an ice cube. <sighs> I feel like that would definitely cut down on some. Like, I think the burn is because of the high alcohol content here at this point. Yeah, yeah, it's cast. Yeah, cast if we strength, watered this down so. a little bit or an ice cube, I think that would make it. Uh, I mean, I think I would get rid of that burn sensation. Boy, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you, you still You're really there? struggling. Yeah, this is kicking my ass. Oh. Can you say anything about the flavor, though, Matt? It doesn't taste like much. It just, it, my whole mouth feels kind of spicy, like, okay. almost. Yeah, it oh. just, it burns down my throat a lot. It Ooh. is very one note. Yeah. It, it, there is, there is no symphony or anything. It's, <laughs> it's one guy smashing on a drum. <laughs> if it's not a smash, though, like, yeah. it's hitting it. And he's that guy hyping you up to drink more of this. <laughs> I, I can't even really describe what the flavor is. No. It's like just it is though like one big hit of it and then it kind of fades away and it leaves a little spicy burn in my throat. Yes. Uh, but the initial flavor, I, I think it's good, but I can't describe it enough to to really give you a good idea about it. That's, yeah. Yeah. If I saw this on a shelf somewhere, depending on the price point, I might buy it, but probably not. <laughs> There's so many better like whiskeys out there that actually have a name. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the packaging and labeling of this is suspect, I'll say. It's on par. The flavor is on par with what they put out. Who would this appeal to? Is this appealing more to like a like experienced whiskey drinker? Or, or do you it... keep this behind a bar to mix with things kind of thing? Oh, God. I don't think this would mix well with anything. No? That flavor is so strong, you're okay. never going to get any other flavors out of it. Uh, the only thing I would say this might mix well into is if you want like a really one-note like uh, old fashioned. All right, Kevin, come in with the expect expectations presented by the bottle itself. What would you rate this? Uh, uh, first, before, <clears throat> sorry to cut you off. You asked who this would appeal to. Yeah. I think this would definitely appeal to those that live in more rural land that own like a broken pickup truck. <laughs> okay. Like, That's quite a script, I like that. Yeah, like just somebody who sits on the porch all day after farming, like in the morning, and just needs to get blasted out in the sun. Now, is this a rocking chair or like one of those wicker chairs? Okay, all right, definitely okay. not a papa son. Okay, okay. <laughs> but like a, a rocking chair that, like from a horror movie. And it creaks a little bit, probably. A hundred percent. Okay, but okay. that's both the chair and the floor underneath them. Oh, absolutely. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that's and extremely then extremely like, descriptive. Yeah, and then they're like late to abuse their kids or something. Whoa. Okay. Wow. That got out of hand. Fast. And on that note, what would you rate this? Me? I just figured one of you would go first. I'm gonna give this a two. Wow. Yeah. Is that the lowest rating you've given? Nope, I rated Lafroig a zero. Noted. You didn't give it a score? No, I gave it a score. I was on a zero to 10 scale. Oh, I thought it was a one to 10 scale. So did we. Mm, I think we said our scale is zero to 10. Zero. What about you? i probably give this a 65 out of 100. A 6.5. A 6.5, but Kyle does not like decimals, so I made it out of 100 instead. Um, this wasn't unpleasant. It wasn't it wasn't exceptional. It has a, a decent flavor. The packaging is kind of throwing me off. Uh, I need to win an arm wrestling contest to get this I told cork you that out. cork was strong. I need, I need one more sip before I... That's more than a sip. Crap. I would be okay drinking this every once in a while. Yeah. I, I have others uh, that I prefer, but 
this is better than I had anticipated it would be, and it's not bad. Definitely needs to be colder. Like, this is not something you should be drinking straight unless you really, really like hate yourself. I think if this was colder, I'd probably give it a six, but I can't, or it's not, so it's a five. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't even take the sip, but I decided. Random bottles from subscription services. Flavier. Is okay random, for some of us. Random bottles deliver random results. Wait, so eh. if, if we average everything out, we gave this, see, an 11 out of 20, or 11.5 out of 20 plus. So it's a 13.5 out of 30. 30? That's really bad. <laughs> Don't buy it. <laughs>